Movado Group creates luxury watches and they make them since 1881. The group owns such brands as Movado, Ebel, Concord, Olivia Barton and MVMT. Movado Group has also entered into licensing arrangements with various brands to create and distribute watches under their names. And the licensed brands include such names as Calvin Klein, Coach, Hugo Boss, Lacoste or Tommy Hilfiger. So this is a company with a great experience and a unique position in the market. An example of that position is the fact that one of their watches is a permanent exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Not a bad free advertisement. Okay, so let's analyze Movado, value it and see is it an interesting investment opportunity at the current time. Individual Insiders That is a check at 12.4% of the company owned by Individual Insiders. And we would like to see this number over 2%, so that is a great result. We know that the management's goals are in line with the shareholders' goals. And the CEO Ephraim Greenberg owns 9.6% of the company. So that is something we should take a note of. And are individual insiders buying right now? That is an X. We see two sale transactions this year worth around $260,000. And do super investors own this company? That is an X. No super investor owns any shares of Movado. So of course, there are no buys. Return on invested capital. That is a check at 10.1% 10-year median returns. And we want to see this number over 10%. So it just made it. And free cash flow growth? That is an X at 7.6% 10-year compound annual growth rate. And just as with return on invested capital, we would like to see this number higher than 10%. So unfortunately, it is a little bit low. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 11.6% and the industry average is just 5.1%. So Movado has some incredible pricing power. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is a check. In the last 10 years, the company bought back 14.8% of its shares. So all the long-term investors became owners of a larger part of the company without spending any extra money. And what about the debt? It is a check. Movado has no debt at all. And that is a very nice thing to see because without any debt, the risk of the company going bankrupt anytime soon is basically zero. The dividend yield is 5.1%. So that is a very nice yield indeed. For every share, we get annually $1.40. And the payout ratio? That is a check at 36.5%. And we want to see the payout ratio somewhere between 20 and 50%. So we know that we are getting a fair part of the earnings, but that it is not so big to actually disturb the growth of the company. And what about the dividend growth? It is a check at 16.2% five-year growth rate. And the history of the dividends is not very stable. We see some ups and downs, and we also see that just a few months ago, they paid a special dividend on top of the quarterly one of $1 per share. So the current PE is 7.4. That is substantially lower than the market average, but let's not jump to conclusions too fast and let's value Movado using a discounted cash flow formula. To do that, we will have to estimate its growth for the next 10 years and as always, we will make three scenarios, low, medium and a high one. So, in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 4% for the first five years and then 3%. In the medium, 5% and then 4%. 
and in the high scenario 7% and from year 6, 6%. So why did I choose such estimates? Well, let's take a look at the growth of this company in the last 10 years. Revenue grew by 4.1%, free cash flow by 7.6% and earnings per share by 6.4%. So the low scenario is slightly below the lowest result and the high scenario is slightly below the highest result. And with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $38, in the medium $40, and in the high scenario $45 per share. But these are not the actual prices that we should be looking for, because we have to always add a margin of safety. I use a 30% one, and that gives me more room for mistakes. I give myself a possibility of being wrong and still not getting myself into any serious trouble. So with such a margin we get, in the low scenario $27, in the medium $28, and in the high one, $32. And the current price is just under $27. It is all in the green, but the low scenario with the margin of safety is exactly on the line. So this company with a market cap of under $600 million seems to be really cheap. We have here a company that is owned in a substantial way by the management that has great margins, no debt, and a very nice dividend. And on top of that, it is rather cheap at the moment. There are a lot of things to like here. So let me know in the comments what do you think about Movado? And have I missed anything crucial that we should take into consideration before making any investment decisions? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.